What's up guys, Dilla here, minimalistsurvival.com. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to make char cloth. To make char cloth, you only need a couple things. You'll need fire, you'll need a tin. This tin has to have a pretty tightly fitting lid and this tin will require a small hole in the top. And you'll need anything that is 100% cotton cloth, whether it's an old bandana, an old t-shirt, old boxer shorts, whatever. Um, anything that's 100% cotton will work. And that's really easy to do. So uh, let's get started. What you're gonna do is you're gonna take your tin, the one with the hole in the top, and you're going to fill it not too full, but just uh, give it a generous helping of the uh, cotton swatches. Now the size you cut your cotton will depend on what you feel you end up needing. Uh, I prefer about a one by two inch or one to two inch squares. Um, they seem to give you enough time to get most fire started even if the tinder bundle is a little bit moist. What you'll do is you'll fill up that tin, place the lid on tightly, and then you're going to just set it, uh, set it on the coals next to the fire. Now what's going to happen is you'll begin to get smoke out of the hole. And the way it works is the cotton won't actually burn because no oxygen can get in because the heat is forcing all of the air and oxygen out that hole. And you'll put it on the fire until the smoke pretty much stops coming out the hole. And that's when you know you're done. So I'm just going to kind of set this in here. Now you can take your survival tin if you have one or whatever you might use to put a little survival kit together and just simply um, either put something in it that you can poke a little hole with, whether you pack a needle or whatever you might pack in your tin, or just poke a, poke a hole in there you know, before you, uh, before you use it. Uh, odds are it's not going to be watertight anyways. Um, I've been swimming with mine a few times. My brass one will stay dry, uh, at least through the swims I've been, but my snooze container tin that's in my BK9 setup. Uh, definitely everything in there gets wet, but that's the beauty of it being a survival kit. It's uh, really okay that everything in there gets wet. You just have to make sure you open it up really well and dry everything out. Well, we're closing in on nine minutes. I don't want to run everybody out of time here. You guys are probably all uh, sitting on the edge of your seat waiting to get to our results here. So I'm gonna knock this thing off the side, let it cool down a little bit. We'll take a look and see what we got here. Tin's still pretty hot. It's like lots of perfectly acceptable char cloth. A lot of times when you overfill your container, you get some that didn't quite go, but you can always throw it in the next batch. Um, most of the time it'll still work pretty well anyways, as long as something like this is little sections that haven't quite gone off, but that'll still work just fine. But uh, for the most part, I think we've got a pretty good usable product here. So, yeah, that's how easy it is, you guys. Make uh, make an awesome old-fashioned fire tinder from uh, an old t-shirt or any old cotton you got laying around. So that's how to make char cloth, guys. Thanks for tuning in. Jay Dilla, MinimalistRevival.com.